Okay, so I made a little bit of a mistake here. One of the problems is, is that this path is too narrow and I don't like it. This is the line I'm gonna go with now. I'm gonna make this path a little wider, but I'm only gonna cut down, I'm gonna make two paths. I'm gonna go about a quarter of an inch at the most. And then the new epoxy that I put over will make all this go away. I made a mistake. So just gonna use a bit like this to uh, go down and chew some of that away, create a new path, pour some new epoxy. Yep, that happened. This is the second attempt and I hate it. I've learned, I've, I've learned my lesson here. I've attempted this twice, I've experimented twice, and I've failed both times. So I'm gonna route this out again, put a coat of poly on it, and then I'm gonna pour a different color epoxy in here. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna do the red this time. I'm just gonna do this dark blue and that ocean blue color. Hope you stick with me through this. I'm learning as I go on the epoxy. As soon as I'm successful, which I will be, I will tell you exactly what I did and how I did it. Okay, here we go. So next day, this little guy here, which is gonna be perfect for knocking off these little uh, parts of epoxy here over these nail holes. And it reveals a nice little bl And then I'm gonna hit it with some 150. I'm gonna sand it smooth, and then I'm gonna put one very thin coat of clear epoxy over the top of this. Okay, so it sanded off very quickly. You can see where the air bubbles were. It wasn't able to get with the, with the torch. So I'm gonna mix up a very small batch of this clear epoxy with no dye in it. And then I'm gonna, just gonna pour a skim coat on here. Fill in all these little voids and it'll, it also ought to brighten this up. So you'll get a good look at it again here. The way it looked before I sanded it, before all the bubbles came up, it was real swirly and there were no dots in there. But these little dots right here are actually gonna look really cool, I think. limited education but what I learned I'm gonna tell you right now I got some powdered pigment it's supposed to be like a really light blue color you can see the light blue in there that that's what this is and if you put this in the two-part epoxy either in part a mix it or part a and B and then put it in and mix it it doesn't work it just doesn't work you mix it with hot water first then you get that when you mix this in with your epoxy, it can be part A, part B mixed together already. Put this in it, mix it up, and you get a nice color. The more you put in, the lighter it gets somehow, and the less you put in, the darker it gets is what I found. I, I could be wrong there. I also got a couple of inks. This is blue. This is bright red. Red sucks. This is really cool. Gave me that darker blue color. For some reason, I couldn't get the red to work right. It, it was transparent. It didn't look right. It looked, didn't turn out to be a solid color. So it didn't work very well for some reason. Maybe it was me, maybe not, I don't know. But there you go. Mm -hmm. 